guys, welcome to Real Simple Workout number 14. Uh, today, the workout is going to be a pretty tough one. Um, it's two rounds through um, four different movements. And essentially what we're doing is we're just spending two minutes on each movement and doing as many repetitions as we can. So it'll be two minutes of one movement, straight into two minutes of the next movement, straight into two minutes of the next movement, and straight into two minutes of the final movement. Uh, we'll then do a two minute rest, a little bit of a trend, and then uh, we'll run through the whole thing again. So we're counting our reps for today's workout. So every single rep counts towards our score. Um, today, I'm going to run a little bit differently through uh, the workout structure because it's actually very similar across uh, beginner, intermediate and advanced. And there's only four movements. So uh, what I'm going to do is give you the beginner, intermediate and advanced version of each of those four movements. Our first movement that we're running through, so as soon as the clock starts, we're going to go through two minutes, um, as many reps as possible of our burpees. Uh, for our burpees, the standard is, if you do not know already, if you're living under a rock, um, our chest needs to touch the floor, and then we need to jump and clap above our head at the top of the burpee. So we come down, chest to the floor, up to our feet, jump and clap above our head. Um, for those who are beginners or who are intermediate, if you don't want to jump through those burpees, you don't have to. All you need to do, if that's the case, is any way possible getting down to the floor, just to touch the ground, standing back up, and then jump and clap. The only thing that you need to do is have your chest touch the floor and jump and clap above your head. That is our only standard for burpees. So the idea, guys, is if you're able to, to go really quickly, get as many reps out as you can, uh, or if you need to pace yourself, that's totally fine as well. It's only two minutes of that movement and then you're moving on to the next. The next movement, a little bit of a different one. And this is the one that we're gonna feel tomorrow, quite likely. Um, but essentially it's calf raises in the bottom of a squat. So we need to come down to the bottom of our squat. Um, your heels can be just off the floor, that's okay. And then what we're doing here is we're raising our calf, coming back down, okay? Raising our calf, back down. Raising our calf, back down. First couple of reps are gonna feel pretty easy, but very quickly you're gonna feel your calves really compressing. It's gonna be a good fun one. Um, and as I said, I'm pretty sure that we're gonna feel and know about that one tomorrow. Um, our third movement is push-ups. So the advanced crew are gonna be going through traditional push-ups on your toes, chest to the floor, pressing up at the top, like so. Our intermediate crew, the push-ups will be knees up, toes down push-ups. So we start in the same position as the advanced crew. We go down on our toes, then we come back to our knees and press out. Reset, down on our toes, up on our knees. Okay, and then as per usual, the uh, beginners are gonna run through scaled push-ups of any sort. So, you can use your chair, for example. Um, this one's a great option. Again, we want to look at trying to get full range of movement. So chest all the way down and then pressing out at the top. So mimicking that movement just a little bit easier. And then our final movement is YWYs. Okay. So we're literally just trying to make those shapes with our arms. So we set up on the floor to start with. All we're worried about here is our upper back. And um, we'll start on the ground, thumbs up the whole time. We come up into a Y, a W, and a Y, and down, okay? And we repeat that as many times as we can. So Y, W, Y, touch. That's one rep, and repeat. Then we rest for two minutes and then we repeat the whole thing again. Remember today guys, we are counting our reps. So grab something that you want to keep a tally uh, for your reps if you would like. Um, and essentially all you need to think about is it's two minutes of work of one movement, two minutes of work of another, two minutes of work 
of work on the third movement, two minutes of work on the last movement, and then a two minute rest. And then we repeat that. So today's workout will be a 20 minute workout. Um, look forward to seeing how you guys go and how you guys feel, whether your calves are sore tomorrow or the day after that you do the workout. As always guys, uh, if you like the video, drop it a like on YouTube. It helps us, I suppose, get it out to more people. Um, subscribe for more and obviously as well, we'll have a link down below this video to our Facebook group. If you haven't joined it or if you're looking at possibly joining, jump in. We're working on um, exercise, nutrition and all things health and fitness related in the group. It's a great place to have everyone together working on making themselves more healthy and improving their habits. We'll see you guys in the next video. Wow. Thank you.